Hi boys and girls and welcome to food week. Today's lesson is a chef self portrait. So we are going to be drawing you as a chef. So right here I have two different papers because I will be doing two examples as we work together. And the first thing we are going to do is we're going to hop right into it. You can grab your pencil. I am going to go straight over with Sharpie. If you feel confident enough, you can do the same. So the first thing we're going to do is find the bottom middle of our paper. And we are going to be creating a banner to write our name. So on this one, I'm going to do a straight line. And on this one, I'm finding the middle and I'm going to do an arch. Not a big arch like a rainbow, just a little one like a little bridge. So I am going to do right there. Now from there, I'm going to go up and up and same on this side, up and up. Now I'm going to cross this one straight again and make a rectangle. But this one, I'm going to follow that same arch that I had the first time around and connect my two sides. And there we go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is we need to have kind of like the sides of our banner. So I'm gonna draw a line out and a line out from the middle. And I'll do that again here, line out and a line out. Then from the bottom, not really far in, but kind of close to the side, a small line down and down, down and down. And then I'm gonna draw another line out and see how this line matches where that line ends. Same thing here. And then to connect these two lines, we're not going to draw a straight line down. We are going to draw a sideways V. V and V. And there we go. We have our banner. So now on this banner, we are going to be writing chef. And then your name. Okay, so maybe here I'm going to do Chef Mike and Chef Lisa. Okay, so there we go. Now I am ready to get started with my self-portrait. So now I'm going to come up and try and find the middle of my page. Okay, so please go and find the middle of your page and we are going to be drawing our eyes so like last I'm finding the middle and I'm going to be drawing my first eye so now this time we've been drawing a lot of self portraits with our face straight forward we are going to put our head on a little slant okay so I'm drawing my first eye starting at the middle, but I'm going to use a slightly diagonal line. Okay, so now finding the middle and same thing right above that line. Right above that middle point, I'm drawing a diagonal line. Then I'm going to draw an arch and another arch for my eye. And as always, we can add in that highlight. arch arch maybe on this one I want to do two highlights you can do that as well okay now over here I need to draw that second eye so I want to keep my diagonal consistent and arch arch my highlight now on this one maybe I want to make myself winking so I'm gonna draw the arch 
and then just some eyelashes okay and now maybe I want to add some eyelashes to this one and some little eye details there so now I want to draw my nose so remember we're still on that diagonal so I'm gonna draw a little arch for my nose between my two eyes and maybe on this one I want to draw a nose like that so that is totally up to you now we are super happy because we made the most delicious meal so we are going to have big smiles on our faces so I am going to be drawing a smile and there we go and maybe I have my teeth you can see and maybe my tongue and if you want you can go ahead and color that in right now or you can wait until you color later on so that's up to you there we go and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side big smile And color that on in. So now that we have basically our whole face done, we need to make a U for our head shape. So I'm going to start here. Now this U isn't going to be straight like we normally make it. It has to be kind of like falling backwards a little bit to come around our head. So starting at our eye, I'm just going to be making my U, there we go. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. There we go. So now I can go in and add my ears right next to where my eyes are. Add my ear and add my ear. Awesome, so now we have two faces all complete. And now we have to add some details to make us look like chefs. So the first thing we are going to be doing is adding our chef hat. So you are going to make an arch to connect both sides of your head. And then we are going to make, just like our banner, two lines that come up and up. And we wanna connect those with the same arch and arch, okay? Now we need to add our big puffy chef hat. So we want it to be kind of all over here. Now here, I'm kind of really close to the edge, so I might come off the page a little. Okay, so there we go. And same thing here, I might have to come off. Or I could see if I could squeeze. And there we go. Now I'm just gonna add some little line details to show that my hat is really puffy. And then it kind of comes in as it gets closer to my head. There we go. So now I have to add in some hair. So here maybe we don't see all of my hair but maybe it's smushed down on my forehead a little bit. So I might have some peeking out here, maybe a little bit of it coming out behind my ears, so I can do that. And for this one, maybe I see my hair and it's coming out behind my hat, right? Maybe my hair is down, so I might wanna add my neck in which I just go straight down and whoop, with a little curved line at the bottom. Now maybe I could come back and add that. And then I can do two diagonal lines out, diagonal 
and diagonal for my shoulders. And then I can draw my arms coming down, down, this one, maybe I'm coming across my little symbol here. And then some arms for my line, for my arms. Here we go. And there we go. So here is my chef. Now maybe we want to draw our chef with some details like an apron on so we can draw kind of here's our apron coming out from behind our neck now this you can't see okay Beautiful. So I have my two chef self-portraits done. Now I can go in, maybe I want to add some thought bubbles and my chef is thinking of his next recipe. Or if I want, I can add kind of like a circle coming all around my chef to kind of put him or her in the spotlight. Okay, so here is another idea. So that's one, we can put them in a spotlight. Or we can have them thinking about their next recipe. So maybe I want to draw 